Let's talk about some winter weather, especially when it comes to lake effect snow. I'm 13 News meteorologist Matt Standridge. There's a huge difference on what we see on average for snowfall across the state of Indiana. Barely a handful of inches close to the Ohio River and then over 50, even over 60 inches once you get into northern Indiana, especially right around South Bend and Laporte, you get close to Lake Michigan, you've got these intense lake effect snow bands and we can easily get over 100 inches in some winter. So let's talk about how this process forms. We've got different air temperatures and different water temperatures. When we're going into winter, a lot of times the air is colder than the lake water still around Lake Michigan, several degrees actually. When we start to get a temperature difference about 23 degrees from the top of the water to about 5,000 feet up, you start the lake effect snow machine, you produce some snow, you've carried it into parts of northern Indiana and sometimes into central Indiana. A lot of times even Indy or Richmond, Muncie, Newcastle can pick up a quick couple inches from some lake effect snow if it's robust enough. But you got the warm water. Colder air moves in from Canada, comes right over the Great Lakes. That cold air then warms up itself. You start an evaporation process. You take that warm water from the Great Lakes, you push it up, you make some clouds. If you're below that 23 degree difference threshold, you can get some clouds, but maybe not snow. But as soon as you hit that 23 degree difference, snow starts to form and you carry it with that north wind right over the land and we can get some big snows, sometimes two to four or five inch per hour snowfall rates. The blue areas show you all the lake effect snow belts and we've got one here in northern Indiana. We count technically, especially once you get that north wind coming down the spine to pick up a lot of water. You can dump some big snow in the region and in Michiana and some of it will carry south into central Indiana. If you get too much cold air, you'll form a lot of ice. Last time 2014 and also 2022, we had a lot of ice on the lake and that shut down the process. But lake effect snow, we get it here in Indiana.